We are on driver 528.49. Uh, also try this with uh, 531.18. Doesn't seem to make a big difference. We are using 60 Hertz and 8-bit. Um, and uh, we already lost the sound earlier. That's why it's uh, looking like this. Let's uh, see if we can restore it. Okay, now we have sound here again. Um, let's try and lose the sound. See, it comes back, muting. So this is pretty stable when using 60 Hertz and 8 bits. Uh, now we change it to 10. Okay, we're back. Right. So let's try and mute the sound again. And uh, it's lost. We lost the sound. You can see it's still playing in the system. Can't hear anything. Uh, the only way to bring it back is to go into the settings of the TV. And we can go into uh, and reinitiate the HDMI handshake. Uh, we can enable VRR. We don't have to back out all the way, we just need to do this. And now we can uh, go back to where we started. And the audio, the audio is back. Um, so let's try 8 bits, 120. So sometimes you get to keep the audio. I, sometimes it disappears when you do it a couple of times. Uh, if we go 10 bits here now, it's probably going to be lost. See, it's uh, inconsistent when you're losing or not. Uh, great that we're not losing it, but... Uh... Okay, so I'm going to uh, enable HDR in Windows. So now we are using HDR, as you can see in the upper right corner. Let's see if we lose the audio. Again, it's inconsistent. Sometimes you lose it, sometimes not. See, here we lost it again. Uh, sometimes you can get it back by changing the bit depth here. Like this. Uh, okay, let's try this and go to 120 again. Still in HDR. And the audio is lost again. And let's see if we can get it back. We did not. At this point, it might be very difficult to get it back without uh, initiating the handshake again. Yeah, as you can see, it's. Uh, not quite consistent when you're losing the sound, but it seems to do with uh, not using 8-bit and not 60 Hertz. Uh, but you can lose it, as you saw. Uh, but usually it has something to do with more bandwidth, perhaps. I don't know for sure. Thank you.